What do you know about versioning? Versioning is something that can often be overlooked. I mean, how exactly would you set a version? Can you recall learning anything at all about versioning when you went to college to learn to code? If you're a self-learner, can you recall learning anything about it at all? Now, somehow we already know what it means to version something. Most of us probably instinctually know that versioning is used to keep track of changes in software and games. As some of you may know, Godot Engine, which happens to be the game engine I use for my own development, have recently changed from Godot 3.2.3 to version 3.3. They were initially going to release it as 3.2.4, but, as you know, the amazing developers just keep packing it with bigger and better and more amazing features alongside with the planned optimizations. So, they determined that the changes they have done so far is worthy of an even bigger version increase. So why did they change to Godot 3.3? This is because they are loosely following the semantic versioning system. Semantic versioning is a set of rules that dictate how versioning numbers are assigned and incremented in a logical and predictable way. We have the major number, the minor number, and the patch number, each separated by a dot. If you look at the major number, the change from Godot 2 to Godot 3 is considered a major version change. This indicates that we have made backwards incompatible changes. If you have been using any Godot version to develop your game and then later updating it to the next version, let's say from Godot 3 to Godot 4, that hopefully will soon be released, it would be highly unlikely your project would work out of the box without making a lot of changes. Keep in mind, when you update the major version, that the minor and patch version is reset to zero. It is worth mentioning that Godot's own release policy of semantic versioning change is a little bit different from the official rules of semantic versioning. Godot's major version is incremented when significant porting work is needed to move from one project to the next. However, semantic versioning is strict about when you make backwards incompatible changes. When any backwards incompatibility is introduced, the major change has to be incremented, no matter what else you have done. If you want to check out a simple example of how you may upgrade your game version from 2 to 3, you can check out my other video where I have ported the Cannon Shooter project. Look in the description below for details, or look at the card in the upper right corner of the video, I'm sure it will pop out somewhere. So then we have the minor version. The change from Godot 3.2 to Godot 3.3 .3 is considered a minor version change. This indicates that we have added new and exciting features or functionality while remaining mostly backwards compatible. You should not have to fear at all when moving from one minor version to another. In semantic versioning, however, it's a little bit different. In semantic versioning, any minor version must be backwards compatible. Any minor version increase is expected to introduce new features or new functionality, something that makes it more from the last version without breaking backwards compatibility. Then we have patch, the last number in a versioning system. If we were to change Godot 3.2.3 to Godot 3.2.4 as original was planned, that would be considered a patch version change. Patch version is increased when you make smaller changes, while remaining backwards compatible. This can include bug fixes, optimizations, and improvements on existing functionality. What is different about Godot compared to semantic versioning is that we may also consider increasing the patch version even if we add smaller new features and functionality. And that is how Godot engine is setting their own version. You can read more about their version release policy on their official documentation. I'm sure I can add a link somewhere, probably in the description. Just look down there, I'm sure you'll find it. So, what have we learned from this? We now know that each version number can have meaning, and it's not just something that's arbitrarily set by a random developer. This system makes dependency management a breeze. Made a new change that adds to your software? 
Minor. Did you make a change while breaking backwards compatibility? Major. Did you fix a bug without adding any new features? Patch. As long as you and your team follows the rules of semantic versioning, you'll be better off. Your users of the software or product will be happy, knowing that they can safely update to any minor or patch version. If you would like to try out semantic versioning for yourself, take a look at the official website, semware.org. Their FAQ section will probably be more than uh, enough to answer any potential questions you may have that may not have been answered here.